everyone welcome back to my channel if you are watching me for the first time please, please subscribe to my youtube channel it's called life with arike today i want to share little tips with you guys on how to uh preserve your yam so that they don't get spoiled i want to share with you a little trick that you can use to preserve your yam without getting spoiled for longer time so today i have my yam right here with me which i'm gonna be working with you guys so i have my yams right here with you guys which i'm gonna be showing you guys step by step on how to uh, preserve your yam how to store your yam without going bad so that you can use it for a longer time so we're gonna get started and i'm gonna be showing you guys step by step on how to do this um it's not really hard and it's very easy to do so let's keep going so um we're gonna need two bowls so one i fill one with um waters just like regular water and i have the other one empty which we so i have my bowls right here one is empty and the other one is full of uh water it's just like a regular water so we're gonna get started and cutting our yam one at a time so I'm doing it in a round, round shape. You can do any shape or sizes that you want. It doesn't matter. So I want the round shape. So that is what I'm going for. sizes that I want so I have two sh different shapes that I cut I have the round one then I have the like the little square one which I'm gonna uh, porridge this is good for porridge so I cut it in a little square shape so that if I want to make my porridge this is gonna be perfect shapes for my porridge and I have the other one the circle one which is for the regular yam that when I want to cook my yam I have the regular one right here so now I'm gonna wash this um, this yams so I'm gonna I have a clean bowl right here which I'm gonna be putting them when I want when I raise them from the water I'm gonna be putting them right here so I'm gonna raise them from the water and I'm gonna be putting the clean one in the bowl so then we move to the next step on how to get <laughs>
So I have my clean um, paper towel right here, which I'm going to be using to dry the water from the yam. If you don't have um, the paper towel, you can use a clean cloth too. We just all we want is just want the water to dry from the yam. So I'm going to be using my paper towel and I'm going to dry the yam one at a time because we don't want the water. The reason why we need to dry this is because um, when it's like having water, it's going to be sticky when you want to take it out from the bag when you want to cook because we still have to put it in the freezer to get it frozen. So uh, we don't want them to be sticky. We want it to be uh, like very easy. So take out from your Ziploc bag before put and when you put it in your deep freezer because it has to be frozen. That is how they stay longer. So clean the water, pat the water one by one and let it dry. Okay, I did the same thing with the uh, with the one that I caught in the um, porridge. So the next thing now we're gonna store them in our Ziploc bag, so that it's gonna be very easy and convenient. So I have my Ziploc bag here, which I'm gonna use to store the yam. So I'm just gonna put the yam one at a time, and I'm gonna put the date. So I'm gonna put the date, today's date, and put the time. It doesn't the time doesn't really ma matter. I'm just gonna put the date, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Then I'll come back and show you guys later. The next thing is going to go straight into our deep freezer. That is where it's going to stay. This yam, believe me, this yam can last you for about five or six months. Trust me. I use this method and it's working for me. And I use this every single time when I buy a lot of yam. I hope you guys learned something helpful today with this, uh, with today's video. So um, the next thing, I'm just going to store them in my deep freezer. But one thing about it is that the freezer has to be uh it has to be frozen the lights have to be on every single time to keep the yam safe so straight away it's going to my deep freezer and it's going to stay there so anytime i'm ready to make the yam i will just bring it up so anytime i'm ready to make the, the to prepare the yam i will just get it out from my deep freezer then i will just put straight i will get a bowl of water and i will just put the yam in a bowl of water and straight on the stove and so thank you guys i hope you, le you learned something from today's video and I hope you're gonna try this and you're gonna love it. So thank you for watching and have a very wonderful day. Thank you. Bye